Dan Yannick, another straightforward victory. Just looking ahead at your match against Karen, just give us a few thoughts about that. Yeah, one. for sure. Um, it's already quite a while that I don't play against him, so it's going to be interesting. He's playing always good, especially in the Grand Slam, so it's going to be interesting. Um, uh, every time when we played, it was a very long matches, um, tough matches, but it's a long time that we don't play anymore again, so it's going to be a, hopefully a good match, the next one. English first. Yannick, uh, you seem to be just going so quietly through the draw so far. Uh, everybody else is having dramas and long matches. Uh, you know, are you happy? Because otherwise people might forget you're there. You know, you're just going through quietly. Yeah, <laughs> no, I don't know, but it's... Uh, at the moment, especially also today's match was really good. I played good tennis. Um, I love the conditions also today because there was no wind and no sun. So it was for me a little bit easier to get used to it. And um, I felt great the ball. I, I made the, the right decisions and um, I used every chance I had today, which uh, maybe in the first match I was struggling a little bit, but you know it's it's good to have this this match feeling back again, and and I'm very excited to to step on the court every time. So um, I'm doing I'm doing my job. I, I I try to stay focused. I I try to find a solution against every player I play, and but for sure. Uh, now the next round is going to be different, it's going to be tough. Um, every match is tough, it doesn't really matter the score. And uh, I also had today some tough moments in the third set, so I have to see how, how it goes. I'm, I'm very happy and let's see. Yannick, uh, there's another early match for you today, or first match on. How, how are you enjoying starting at that time, knowing you're going to finish at a good time? And Is that an advantage in a Grand Slam? Um, yeah, we we didn't make any requests, so it's uh, it's their choice. But I uh, I like to play first match. It's it's you know the time when you enter, um, you know that <clears throat> that most likely you're gonna finish a little bit earlier than than other players, and um, obviously you have more time to recover. Also, it's uh, I I like to play day session anyway. Um, Maybe night session, the the atmosphere sometimes it's it's more sp spectacular in in one way, but also today was the atmosphere was really nice. I love to play uh, on uh, on that court, and it's 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 always good feeling. No, especially when you play Grand Slam, you play in a big court. It's it's always nice. Do you ever make any requests for, t for when you want to play? No, sometimes yeah, it, it it depends also how how I feel. No, until now uh, and this season I didn't make any requests. Yannick, this is the first time that you haven't dropped a set in the first three rounds since the 2020 French Open. So I mean, I mean, how confident are you in your game at the moment? And is this the best you've ever felt on the court? Yeah, it's. Um, I feel good on the court at the moment um, the last two rounds I had two similar opponents um, the first round was a little bit different um, the next round is going to be completely different again so it's as I said I just try to stay to stay focused to stay calm I, I, I enjoy every moment on on the court and also off the court I think everything is going in the right way, and, and um, I do feel confident. No, I, I I came here with a good off-season preparation, and obviously the two matches in Kuyong they helped me a little bit to get into a match rhythm. And uh, I'm just quite focused and and also relaxed on the court at the moment. And let's see how I handle the situation when the when the score. Uh, it, it, it is even or, or I'm down how I how I react and that's going to be interesting to see. Yes, uh, Janik, I would like to ask, as you mentioned, uh, the matches between you and Kachanov so far has been really close ones. And I know that it was a while ago, as you said, that um, when since you met. But uh, why do you think game-wise your matches 
have been so close and what do you have to focus on this time to beat him again? I have to analyze a little bit now because everything has changed but we do play a little bit similar. Um, we love to play with the rhythm. Um, physically we both are good movers. Um, he has improved a lot I think. Um, also the surf he has improved and so let's see, it's uh, for sure a tough match coming up. Um, but this is why I also practice now to see where, where, where my level is, where, where I can find the, the, right, uh, the right solution every time. So let's see, it's uh, the last time we played, it's already quite a while ago. So let's see. Last one. Yannick, you've alternated between the pinpoint stance and the platform serving stance, I think, a few times in your career. And just wondering, you know, what caused you to switch back to pinpoint last year and are you happy with, with how things are going? Yeah, I think I still can improve a couple of things, but in other way, talking generally, it, 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 it gives me a better rhythm uh, with the surf. Uh, in the beginning, when you change, it's not that easy because you do one motion more uh, with the, with the feet going go, going closer. Um, but in another way, uh, it gives you more mon momentum with the serve that you can serve a little bit faster because the the motion is a bit a little bit more dynamic. But every player has has his own style, no. Um, I changed it last year. At the moment, I feel I feel good. Um, I don't think at the moment that I'm gonna change again because I'm, we try to stabilize the surf. And um, at the moment, I'm surfing a little bit better, um, knowing already, obviously, that I can improve a couple of things. But now, the what we have to improve are a little bit, you know, small details uh, in every shot. And um, so, yeah. Uh, Simone, there was a there was a very um, positive vibe coming from your support team today. Walk us through how it works, having your, your regular coach, Simone, and then and then Darren Carl, who's come in to provide additional help. How does that how does that um, work? How do they kind of balance things between who's in charge of what and how they interact? Yeah, with talking in general, I think um, tactical technical part is is more for Simone. Um, the emotional part, the talking in the right way before the match, um, giving confidence not only to me but also to the team. Um, this is a little bit more Darren's uh, <laughs> job, but I think um, the the mix of both of them it's it's really nice. You know, they they have a lot of respect for, uh, from each other. They nobody wants to go over one, so they are always in the same line. And I think that's that's one key thing what I have in my team. You now we are always if there's a problem, we talk together, we find a solution together. And um, honestly, we are quite or pretty relaxed. You know, it's um, we know that every match is important, that every tournament is important, but it's also um, uh, it's more important to stay in a good in a good mood always. No, it's uh, obviously sometimes you are a bit more nervous, which is normal. But I think uh, talking generally, it's 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 a good good team to be around. You know, even in the match today, there was a, there was a couple of lighter moments. There was there was one at the end where it was just before you broke to win the match, and you you said something to Simone in, in Italian, and. Um, and whatever it was, he had a good laugh, and then Darren had a good laugh. And what was it? What would you say? And what was the joke? No, I don't, I don't say what I said. But um, you know, also in matches, um, um, I used to be really, really um, serious, which I still am, obviously. Um, but you know, even in practice sessions, uh, I'm I consider myself as a really hard hard worker, but. Um, sometimes you have to smile, you have to uh, um, laugh a little bit because it's 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 also important, no? And and, and it changed the your attitude on the on the court a little bit. I think in a positive way. And then today was was the same, no? And um, 
yeah, this is uh, like on 5.3, I, I, I joked a little bit because it's, um, it gives myself also a, a little bit of mot motivation sometimes. Yeah. No, and, and is sorry, that and just move on. sorry that just that last one on yeah, follow up to the other one. With was the so when you brought in Darren, was that really to address that aspect of your game to say, okay, I'm getting a bit too down on myself, I'm a bit too intense, I need that someone just to just to sort of sell things a bit before I go out on court? Yeah, I mean he is a very experienced coach. He uh, he has coached so many players, um, bringing them to number one in the world also. So. Uh, all different players, um, so I, I I truly believe that he is one of the best coaches uh, ever in in, in this sport. Um, and for me, it's also important that you know Simone gives me uh, stability. You know, he he knows me better uh, in one way, so it's it's both of them that give me something. Positive, obviously, and, and and I have to listen to them in, in in one way, and and as they believe in me, I believe in them, so, and and this is uh, kind of teamwork. Ew, ew.